Okay, here we are in UPPGE. It was requested that I make a tutorial for moving platforms. So that when our player goes onto a platform, and when the platform moves, the player will move along with it. So he doesn't just slide off the platform and fall to his death. So, <coughs> let's <coughs> see here. We have a dynamic cube with, well, dynamic physics. He's a player. What he does is when you press the keyboards, keyboard arrows, you can control him, move him around, rotate him, move him. Then when you press space, had it go into another state. And in this state, it will always do motion. Then when it senses that it is not touching the ground, it will go into the normal movement state. While you are jumping in the air, I still had it so you could move around with the O keys. Now, let's just play our game. We also have a camera parented to our player. It will always set the camera. I said to always set the camera so when you play, it will always go into the view of this camera. I also have a sun lamp which casts shadows, so I have a bit of shadows in my game. And now, we will try some moving platforms. So, vertically moving platforms are pretty easy. Gravity and physics will just take care of that one. But you see, normal moving platforms, you just slide out from under them. And for rotating platforms too, you can see. Let me just try getting on this one. Whew. Here we go. Yep, also slide out from under them. Under them. So, the way to do this for moving platforms is actually very simple, as long as you have a dynamic physics. Characters have a way different physics. They cannot be moved by, uh, changed by friction. Friction does no effect. So, <clears throat> what you need to do is go to the friction of your platform. Right now it doesn't have our, any friction, so it can't pull the player along with it. So if we give it 20, let's give our platforms 20 friction. See what this does. Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> yes! It's working. Splendid. Okay, just drop down. Get on this <coughs> rotating platform. That's. Well, I'm actually going to snap to cursor to center at a plane. Make it really, really big. I'll just go N. Make its dimensions. Um, Y, 200, 100, X. Okay, that's a little too big on the Y. No, it can just be 100 by 100. It's good. And I'll also make this have box collision bounds and invisible. So we can't see it. And I'll make this have a property death. So, if, well actually we should probably put this, hmm, Oh, I know. Actually, we don't want this to have a property. Let's give this player property. Okay, now we get a collision sensor colliding with the property player. Okay, I did not mean to press tap. Then, get a scene, restart. So whenever our cube falls down low enough to touch this plane over here. It will restart the game automatically. Here we go. <laughs> Good. I just added that for fun. But we need to really test this rotating platform. Um, ah. Keep failing to get on this platform, so here we go again. again. Well, I can always try again. Here we go.
Just give me a minute. <clears throat> Let's jump toward the center. Aha! Finally did it. Okay. And yes, we can see it's working. Good. It's working. Great. And so that's how to make the moving platforms with dynamics. It doesn't work for characters, sadly. I hope to make a video for that soon. The way to do it for character physics is a little more complex, but I hope you found this video helpful. Please like this video and subscribe too if you haven't already to avoid missing my future tutorials. <clears throat> See you in the next tutorial, guys. Bye.